Registered Phenomena Code 115 Object Class Gamma Purple Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Organic Hazard Transmutation Hazard Emotional Hazard RPC-115 must be contained immediately. RPC-115's designation as a Gamma-class anomaly has been assigned pending investigation to its properties. Containment Protocols MST designated November 33 is on permanent standby to be sent wherever RPC-115 reveals itself, on extremely short notice. MST November 33 is to be inserted discreetly within RPC-115 vicinity, and seek and capture protocols are to be enacted. RPC-115 is to be disabled via non-lethal means, and RPC-115-1 is to be separated from the entity. MST November 33 is to exfil from the area, with RPC-115 and RPC-115-1 and head to nearest authority site for immediate containment. RPC-115's briefcase RPC is to be contained for study. It is to be placed into a bulletproof, hermetically sealed box with a seven-digit key code. The box must have heat and movement sensors placed within, which will activate if RPC-115-1 is moved from its position. The box is to be placed into a small fortified vault. The door to the room is to be reinforced with steel plating, with a magnetic lock. It must have a two-key system in place. Two authorized personnel with security clearance of level 3 must place the keys. Description: RPC-115 is a shape-shifting humanoid entity, which appears to be deliberately fostering military conflicts worldwide. RPC-115's facial features and skin tone vary from observer to observer, but it is consistently described as a human male. RPC-115 is always described as carrying a briefcase on its person at all times, designated RPC-115-1. RPC-115-1 is described as being made out of a low-quality black leather, with gold-colored clips on top of the case. Attempts to establish any additional communication by both authority agents and parties or individuals already contacted by RPC-115 has proven futile. There are no records that match any description given, and RPC-115 does not leave any traces of DNA that could be used to identify it. RPC-115-1 shows anomalous properties of its own. The first account recorded from G01 described it as having sworn that quote, it moved like something was inside it unquote, before RPC 115 placed its hands upon the case and the movement ceased. Reports indicate a crucial factor in RPC 115 1's properties. RPC 115 can conjure or procure any object from within 115 1 of any size regardless of the structure and size of 115-1. The Authority can determine that RPC-115-1 operates beyond the practical fundamental laws of space. Such objects include various books and leaflets of papers, into more disconcerting objects such as a full-fledged 7.62x39mm AK-47 assault rifle. Various accounts from captured members of terrorist cells and splinter groups always circle back around to a man in a business suit, carrying a black briefcase who incites her hatred towards others and seems to instigate them into carrying out these attacks. RPC-115 always seems to know what these groups are after and what they want as well as who they're angry towards. The Authority holds RPC-115 personally responsible for the instigation of the Civil War in as well as the rise of various terrorist groups and cells such as Interview Log Forward. What follows is an interview set up between Agent and terrorist cell member Ibrahim, who had been picked up and brought in for interrogation regarding his dealing with RPC-115. Begin Log Mr. I'll cut right to the chase. We know about your dealings with a certain individual. He supplied you? 
You carried out your attack, which resulted in the deaths of innocents, including members of the family, who had some ties to the monarchy. You definitely proved your point. But what I want to know is everything you know about the man you met with before the attacks took place. That's all. What do you want to know? He had weapons. We needed weapons. So we did business. You're leaving some things out. No money was exchanged. All the equipment was apparently just given to you for free? That doesn't sound like any weapons dealer I've ever heard of. He gave you entire shipments of heavy weaponry, including automatic rifles, down to body armor and small arms, and all out of the good graces of his heart. Where did he get them? How did he amass such an armory in such a short amount of time? Magic, I guess. He was some type of magician wannabe. I guess he pulled all those guns out of his armpits and mouth. Elaborate. The case he was carrying was empty until he pulled a Glock out of it. Parlor trick. He was just having fun, whatever. Point is, he had the guns, and we wanted them. And he gave them to us. I don't really care where they came from. What was his appearance? What did he sound like? How did he act? I need details. Uh, he had brown hair tied in a ponytail. He sounded like he was from America, I guess. A cheap tan suit while it was pretty hot that day. The heat didn't seem to bother him. He kept making jokes and pulling random things out of that case, like an apple. I've had dealings with some weird dudes, some crazy ones, so it didn't really stand out to me. Okay. Did he say anything to you that stands out? Anything that comes to mind? I asked him why he was so generous. I thought it might be some sort of trick or sting operation. He said, The world is an unbalanced place. It requires counterweight to balance it out. I'm that counterweight. He shook my hand and left. Soon after, an entire shipment of weapons showed up at our compound. No strings attached. End log. Closing statement. A few more questions were asked, but no more info could be gathered. Therefore, Ibrahim was returned to his cell. Message to all regional directors. RPC-115-1 is the priority. The Authority has deemed RPC-115 to be a great risk to the stability of high-tension areas throughout the world. If containment attempts fail, then the protocol to terminate RPC-115 on-site will be enacted. The remains will be sent to site for study.